How's it going, guys? This is Mash, and welcome to Let's Play Mr. Mosquito Part 3. Anyway, we're now going into the kitchen. In the kitchen. We're going to be dealing with All Reina's mother, have been bitten by you now, Mrs. Yamada. So she has lit a mosquito coil. Do not go too close to the fumes from the mosquito coil. But yeah, we're going through this game pretty damn quickly. The game, like I said, is pretty simple, pretty basic. It gets harder later on. Like after this ad, I think the next level after this one is when it starts becoming a real pain in the butt. The next one becomes a, pain, a complete pain in the ass when you're trying to suck blood when you have EX tanks. You promised that you'd come home on time when we negotiate the pocket money increase. Uh oh, Rain has got caught. Also come home at five nowadays. When I was young. When I was younger. Okay, I get it. My <laughs> head was just shaking left and right. That was. That's not normally how an angry father moves around. Come it! I've had enough of all this. I think that there is a mosquito in the house. No, we've all you've all been bitten. Y'all been attacked constantly. And make sure it works. I wouldn't guess there's a mosquito in the house. Go and buy some yourself. Mom, weren't you going to cook dinner now? I'd like to eat potato cakes tonight. Mmm, potato cakes. Well, let's have potato cakes for dinner then. That's great! But Mom, I'm not sure about the way you make them. What are you saying? There's nothing wrong with the way that I make them. Uh, well, okay. I'm gonna light a mosquito coil in the kitchen. What? Mm. Typical. Hm. All right. Anyway. Oh, look, a new loading screen. I don't know what the heck that's supposed to be, though. Probably a... a bug repellent that they sell in Japan. Have no clue. Anyway, we're gonna have here a nice little acrobatic feat. As you saw before in the previous episode, their mother kind of is like a martial arts master or something, I don't know, but she, like, does that. Nice landing. Oh, look at that. That's kind of cool. That's kind of badass, but at the same time kind of weird. Not only that, it's annoying that she's wearing, like, leopard print pants. But, anyway, we now have two areas we're actually going to have to bite her at and get tanks from each one, two of them. And we also have one EX tank in the area, and the EX tank is located up here. This nice little sneaky area. I love how I stopped right before I was going to get crash into something. Anyway, both her areas to bite are on her legs as usual, so we're going to have to wait until she comes back around towards the sink. Can't do anything other than that. There's also stuff you can do in like the, the microwave over there, but I've never really gotten it done, so not really going to mess with it. Anyway, we're going to go over here. Her pinky toe is her most annoying one to get to, so we're going to go with that one first. So now we still got to finish off that first EX tank that we got from Reyna's stage that we couldn't finish after we finished these two, so. I cannot tell you how many times I've died in this area, and I don't know why. I don't know if they made it a little more difficult, or the sensitivity is just stupid, but sometimes you'll just she'll just turn red, and we... We get killed. Like if we're still on her and she and we're sucking blood, she'll like just smack us and we'll die. And it sucks balls. So you gotta be very, 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 very careful. That's a lot of berries. Anyway, we're almost done with this first EX tank. There we go. As you can see, um, the EX tank um still goes on after. Um, it, it, it crosses over to the next area with how much blood we've gotten, so it's not like we have to suck it up all over again, which would kind of suck. And 
We got it. Let's fly quickly. Now, as you can see, we're actually Fat Mr. Mosquito right now. And with Fat Mr. Mosquito, to slow down, it's a little longer, as you can see. Um, turning and strafing is a little bit more awkward. Um, yeah, he's just a fatter mosquito now, and it's harder to keep control. And it can kind of make the game a little bit more harder than it needs to be. But I'm not really worried about that, because we're still going to beat the game. Anyway, now we're going to be flying into her... <laughs> Oh, oh, that was that was pro. All right, now we just gotta suck two more tanks of blood, and we'll be pretty much done with this level. As you can see now, it's just gonna start getting a lot longer because of um different things, either environmental or multiple blood sucking areas. The next area is a, a bit of an annoyance because of where the blood sucking areas are. So. But we're almost done. We are going through this game. We are just cutting through it now like it's nothing. All right, we've done it. To all the housewives we've beaten that in three minutes. That's that's kind of impressive. Anyway, she's about to do this one more time. Guess get a few more potato cakes done. Let's see what happens this time, though. Oh, Mr. Mosquito's in the way. Drops everything. And she gets hurt. You just hurt Mrs. Yamada, you douche. Oh no. We don't see what happens, but I guess she just tripped and fell. Which is understandable. Why are you trying to do acrobatic stuff like that in the in the middle of the freaking kitchen? That just It's silly. Anyway, as you can see now we have thirty seven percent of our extra Extra blood tanks completed already. We're getting Rina's close. Room. Rena is becoming extremely wary of you. She is armed with an insecticide spray. Now, would you believe What's we're actually more, at the middle part of the game already, guys? A bug it's a very short game. Be careful. But yeah, now it's gonna start getting a lot more harder in the sense of just what we're gonna have to do to start bl sucking blood um, where the the areas are a lot more easier to be seen so we might start taking a lot longer in episodes this we might actually we're gonna have to go through this fast because I'm pretty sure we're gonna miss our miss out on our timing and we're gonna have to only do like one or two episodes afterwards like um stages I don't know I'm very out of it right now while I'm recording this Stages, stories, all that good stuff. Don't break that bug zapper. It's new, you know. Really? She's just like her mother. Just like her mother, you oh. asshole. Kaneo. Oh, now you just pissed off the mom. You're sleeping on the couch tonight, buddy. But anyway, Reyna is in mission mode. She wants to kill this mosquito. She doesn't care what she has to do. Her mission is to destroy me. And by the way, in the next... <laughs> we're going to have a song in this area that's pretty much a rip-off of Eye of the Tiger. If you don't know what Eye of the Tiger is, then how dare you exist in this world. As you can see, she's kind of looks like she's training to fight the mean old mosquito. That is me. And the areas we're going to have to bite her in this level suck balls. Anyway, we got to stay away from the bug zapper that she's placed. There are two blood sucking points, and there's one EX tank here. Now, let's go get that EX tank first. It's right behind here. The bug zapper's right there, by the way. We just passed it. It's not like we would actually fly into it, but just in case. Oh, I can't believe I missed that. Uh, the flying in this game is kind of wonky as well, so. As you can see, there's two points of um, like things we can actually change. But the only one that really matters is the phone, which is right here. Go hit it, it'll start ringing, and I guess magically she got called. And we'll get spotted as well, but. 
the first part we're gonna have to bite is her neck right here and it's a pain in the ass as you can see like it, it goes away after a few seconds Oy. all right we gotta wait for it to start up again oh. all right let's try to fly back up there to her neck Oh, we got there right at the last second. Okay. All right, now we got our other ex. T we got the ex tanks, so and we're gonna have to start sucking here. The next part's not that hard. It's on her finger, but just trying to get to her neck is a pain in the ass because you have to try to avoid getting spotted, or else you're gonna. It's gonna take a lot longer than it needs to be. That's actually the easiest. I I, I did a smart move because I usually go for the finger first, and since I become fat, Mr. Mosquito, after all this, I don't want to do that. So. <laughs> It becomes such a more such more pain in the ass because the trying to break and turn is just a lot harder when he's fat, as you could see before when we were in the last stage. All right, let's get this ex tank at least halfway filled, which would be awesome. I would like it if we were it was filled right now, but if it comes down to where we have to fly, yep, fly. Oh wow, that was close. Oh, and we got our first battle. Woo. We jumped out of there at the last second. Holy shit. Anyway, battles, since I knew, like I said, we were going to end up having to deal with them. To beat her, we're going to have to hit her relax points. And in this one, she actually has three relax points. The first one is right there on her stomach. I, somehow, magically hitting her relax points let her not want to kill us. Or forget about us. I don't know. But it could be a pain in the ass. Every time she swings at us, there's a possibility of her hitting us. And it'll hurt. Oh god, tag up. There we go. And now the last one's a little bitch because it's right there behind her um shoulder, but we were lucky enough to do that. And we actually got another color for beating that, so that's always good. As you can see, like see trying to slow down when you're fat Mr. Mosquito is a pain in the fucking ass, so we gotta be very, very careful now. I wonder if I can get hurt from that kick of hers, I don't know. I'm not risking it. All right, now we're gonna go after the next, next blood sucking point, which, like I said, is a lot easier. Yeah. Right there on her finger, <laughs> and this should be pretty easy from here. Alrighty, as you see, she's like somewhat like a stereotypical like Japanese girl with like the really, no offense to Japanese girls, but the, the fingernail polish and shit you wear sometimes is kind of gaudy, and her shits. Yeah. Kind of fucking gaudy. All right, gotta keep sucking that blood. We're doing a horrible job though, cause she can sense us pretty damn good. Oh, oh no, we died. We died. Sure. Yep, that happened, guys. Like I said, sometimes sensitivity's kind of sucky, and she'll be able to sense us sometimes. And hey, it happens. It sadly happens. Uh, at least we failed now, so you at least see what happens if you're not careful. Can't believe how close we got the first time, though. That that was pretty damn stupid, how close we got. If I'd stayed there literally a split second more, I would have been killed. Eh. Anyway, now we're still in the same room, and still got to deal with the same thing all over again. But... Luckily for us, well, luckily for you, you don't have to really worry because we'll be doing this in the next episode. So in the next episode, guys, we'll be doing this again because we're running out of time. So we'll start here again next episode. As always, guys, this is MASH, and I will see you all in the next episode. As always, if you like this episode, please like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you all then, guys. Bye.